What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and be notified for future readings. It's free general psychic reading for all signs. Taps to beside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Leave the rest. Free general psychic reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support to the channel. I think we're at like 15,120 right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I really appreciate it um, for my business. I love you guys. Okay, so I received another channeling. I will, might do some sign readings tonight because y'all know the last week of October, which were October 30th. Um, I've only done two. I did Caps and um, Pisces, but I was getting so many downloads in. Um, I think I'll start November's readings um, since we're at October 30th. Just let everybody know. Um, I do apologize for that, but I've just got had so many downloads. Um, it's, you know, there's 12 signs, so that's 12 readings. And with all the downloads, it just, I was only able to get two signs out for the last, the last week of October. Okay. All right. So the channel message I received was, um, Okay, I heard you are a um, very high in the spiritual realm, um, spiritual practitioner, light side. But somebody was telling somebody you were a dark um, spiritual practitioner, that you were a dark spiritual practitioner. So someone was afraid of you, and they went to a dark spiritual practitioner to get protection, uh, spiritual, uh, to get spiritual protection against you. Because they were afraid of you. Because somebody told somebody you were a dark spiritual practitioner, but you're a light side spiritual practitioner. So they went to a dark spiritual practitioner to get um, protection against you um, from this dark spiritual practitioner. Um, but I heard the protection has, um, it has, they think they're protected, but they're not. Uh, and it's going to continue to backfire. They're about to realize very soon that they're definitely not protected spiritually or in the 3D. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, whoever you guys are. Now, you're a lifetime spiritual practitioner if this resonates for you. But somebody was gossiping about you and lying about you and saying you were a dark spiritual practitioner. So like a, they were saying you were a dark high priest or a dark high priestess basically. But you're a real high priest or high priestess basically. If this resonates for you, okay? They were gossiping and saying you were a dark high priest or dark high priestess, but you're really a regular high priest or high priestess. So whoever this person is that was scared, they, of you, <laughs> I mean, it's not funny. It's not funny, but damn, I mean, they were so scared that they ran to a spiritual, a dark side spiritual practitioner to get protection against you. Now, whether they knew it was a dark, high priest or high priestess they ran to with the dark spiritual practitioner energy i'm not sure i didn't hear that part they they knew it was they knew it was okay it's confirmation they knew so they knew it was a dark spiritual practitioner they knew this was a dark high priest or high priestess they ran to to get protection against you but i heard they're not protected they think they are but they're not and i heard it's going to continue to backfire they're about to realize they're not protected in the spiritual realm or the 3d realm soon it sounds like some kind of series of chain of events are about to occur to make them realize they're really not protected in the 3d realm or the spiritual realm um how that resonates and applies i didn't hear a sign on the person i didn't hear a sign on you so you have to plug it in how it resonates okay holy crap and moly man i, I feel like i didn't pull earth magic I've been getting such juicy downloads in recently. Damn. There is absolutely no protection there. One of these people might end up requesting their money back, and they paid a lot of money for this. Okay, so there's at least two of them. There's at least two of them, uh, regular high priest or high priestess, if this resonates for you. There's at least two of them that went to get protection, spiritual protection from you. 
uh, because they were told you were a dark high priest or high priestess. People need to quit gossiping, man, because that's spell work in itself. When you gossip, that's spell work. Uh, if it's not true, that's spell work. And that's just the truth, because gossip can be true or untrue. Untrue gossip is spell work. Manipulation of words. So they manipulated the words and basically lied and said you were a dark high priest or high priestess, sir, ma'am, but you're not. So it created a series of chain events to make at least two people run to a spirit, dark side spiritual practitioner. And they know, I heard they knew this person was a dark side spiritual practitioner. So they ran, they, okay. And that doesn't even make sense anyways. They were told you were a dark high priest or high priestess, but yet they run to the dark side? Why didn't they go to a light side person? And that's just the truth. But um, I heard they're about to realize they're not protected. They're not protected soon through some kind of series of chain of events that's about to be created, either in the spiritual realm or the 3D realm or both. Damn. Spirit messages you have collected. I heard one will probably um, one will probably request their money back. Um, so there was at least two of them. One will probably end up requesting their money back, and I heard they paid a lot of money for this protection. Whatever kind of spells or entities they were calling upon on the dark side or what have you, what have you. One will probably end up requesting their money back. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you the light side high priest or high priestess? Are you the person that ran from this person to the dark side spiritual practitioner? Are you the dark side spiritual practitioner? About to get requests back for money. And it sounds like a lot of it for one of these former clients or what have you, what have you. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Power upright. You are very powerful in the spiritual realm. Very powerful. Heavy prophetic messages. Heavy messages, period. Your messages have been resonating and it scares the hell out of a lot of people. But they should have never messed with you at the beginning when they were game stalking you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so... You're, you do so, you deliver some kind of messages. Now, you could deliver them in the 3D or um, like the everyday world, or you could deliver them on social media like I do, or what have you, what have you. But you deliver some kind of prophetic message or messages um, and other messages. So I think you do it all. Whoever you are, you do it all. Prophetic messages like Nostradamus kind of energy, like me, because I deliver a lot of prophetic. But some of mine are not prophetic. Um, They've already happened. So however that resonates, but you do it all. Kind of like me. Prophetic messages, messages of the past, what have you, what have you. You do it all. Um, but you're very powerful in the spiritual realm. You're very powerful. You have a lot of ranking. You're high ranking in the spiritual realm. You're very powerful. And um these people knew it. But I heard that they knew they should have they knew it. They knew you were powerful in the spiritual realm. Because they knew your messages were coming true. I heard you uh, scared the hell out of a lot of people because your messages are coming true. So your prophetic messages and other messages are coming true. And it scares people. But I think that's why these at least two energies ran to the dark side spiritual practitioner. But that wasn't smart anyways. I heard they should have known that your messages and you were powerful in the spiritual realm when your messages started coming true back when they were game stalking. So these at least two energies gang stalked you in the past. Then they ran to a dark side spiritual practitioner for protection, but that's not working. Um, what they should have done is quit gang stalking you and just moved on in their life and quit messing with the dark side hoodoo voodoo pin cushion shit, blood of something, 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 sacrifice of something, 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 and moved on and quit gang stalking you. But yet they created their own series of chain events because they were scared because your messages are very powerful and they ran to a dark side spiritual practitioner. No, yay, nay, nay, nay. Just saying.
These people have already experienced huge nightmares, night terrors, and other crazy events in their life, and they're going to continue. They should have never messed with the dark practitioner. One of these people will end up exposing the dark practitioner very soon. Hugely expose the dark practitioner. It has made one of these people's lives go down in a huge way since they have visited this person, not made it go up. Oh my God. Okay, so one of them's going to ask for a refund back, and it was a very large refund. So he spent a lot of money on this so called spammy, scammy, conny protection that really they didn't have um, on this from this dark side practitioner. It sounds like both of them are experiencing night sweats, night terrors, nightmares, some kind of nighttime negative situations since visiting them. I heard their life has went down, not up, since visiting them. That's never a good sign. If you're around somebody, especially if you're paying for services and your life declines, especially in the spiritual realm, that's a good ass indication that it's not what they say it is. If anybody needs to hear that. And that's just the truth. Um, but Whoever, and I feel maybe some of you guys are in this category that watch my channel or you're about to watch my channel in this video. Um, there's a reason I'm pulling this in so heavy, but I heard one of you guys is going to end up exposing this dark high priest or high priestess, the true one. All the time people were gossiping saying this person was a dark high priest or high priestess, but they're not. They're very high in the spiritual realm, very powerful with prophetic messages and messages, and they're very high spiritual ranking light side. But Somebody ran to the dark side and it's made their life decline. So much so, one of these people, and I feel for one of you guys, you might be one of these people. You have to plug in and how it resonates. You're about to expose this person very publicly. Very publicly. You're about to expose them very publicly. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Okay, I heard your life has declined seriously after visiting this person. Um, and basically, you're about to expose them very publicly. And one's going to ask for the refund back, which was a very large amount of money that you spent on this so-called false-ass protection. And uh, you're about to realize soon that it's, it wasn't really real protection in the spiritual realm or the everyday 3D realm. Yikes. This dark side practitioner runs an illegal business. Receipt. When one of these customers has receipts and they know they run an illegal business and they're about to expose them. Okay, so one of these customers, I'm pulling the customers in very strong. One of the customers knows this dark practitioner, spiritual practitioner, dark side, high priest or high priestess, run, heard they run an illegal business. So it's not like a legal business with a business license like, like I do and a lot of the online readers do, light side readers. Not like that. It's an illegal business. So I'm assuming they don't have a business license or they run it illegally in some shape, form, or fashion. But one of these customers, former customers, knows it. I'm full, pulling in the former customers very strong. I feel you guys could be the former customers possibly. Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But... I heard one of you guys, one of the former customers, knows it's an illegal business, but you have receipts of the exchange and the money, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I heard you're going to expose them very publicly. So however you expose them, I don't know if this is an official report, social media, police, authorities, Federal Trade Commission, which Federal Trade Commission deals with scam, spams, frauds, or... Um, conning situations or um, or illegal businesses. However that resonates and applies. Um, but somehow you're going to expose them very publicly. However you do it, sir, ma'am. Um, and one's going to ask for a refund back. It could be the same person or a different person. You plug in how it resonates. This dark side spiritual practitioner has been leaving your light side spiritual practitioner has been reporting you to the Better Business Bureau. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. 
Oh my God. Okay, so the dark side spiritual practitioner knows the light side spiritual practitioner, or they know of them. How that resonates and applies. I heard the dark side spiritual practitioner has been reporting the light side spiritual practitioner to the Better Business Bureau, but I heard that's about to backfire. Well, it should. It should. That's a, an air sign is getting a huge wake up call. An air sign is getting a huge wake up call. Gemini Libra Aquarius is getting a huge wake up call. So I don't know if this, if this person is an air sign or just the air sign knows these people. Some kind of air sign is getting a huge wake up call. Gemini Libra Aquarius. You can be a light side Gemini Libra Aquarius um, upright or you can be not upright. You can treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Gemini Libra Aquarius, light side or dark side, and you don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Air sign that's getting a huge wake up call about this. How that resonates. Um, you could be air sign in this mix or just an air sign that knows these people. How that resonates. But heard air signs getting a huge wake up call. But this person has already reported the light side spiritual practitioner to the Better Business Bureau. But I heard this person's legal. They run a legal business, apparently. They're legal. This person is not. They're illegal. Um, so I'm assuming no business license or they don't do it the right way or what have you, what have you. But this person had the gall and audacity, their illegal business, and they reported the light side legal business person to the Better Business Bureau. I, yeah, I hope it backfires on them in a huge way. I heard it's going to. It is about to backfire in such a huge way. It is about to backfire in such a huge way. Karma, baby. Yeah, because that's some sick shit. That's sick, man. Stay in your lane, you know? Damn. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. I'm a, I feel like I didn't pull one of these. I just want to say I'm sorry for whoever this is for, because this is this is not correct, and I'm so I feel sorry for these people too. Hopefully, you guys can live and learn and move on from this person. Definitely about to move on. Definitely, that's confirmation. Definitely about to move on. So the client, former clientele of this person, you are definitely about to move on if this resonates. Good. I hope so because this is yikes. Spirit messages you have like this. Joy and chaos. Number 22 or 42 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 22 or 42, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number, 22 or 42. Joy and chaos. This dark side spiritual practitioner loved creating chaos in people's lives. They're about to ever regret it. Ever regret it. It's already backfired. It's about to backfire in a huge, 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 huge way. Oh my God. I pulled this person in very strong. So the dark side spiritual practitioner. They basically use former clients and they don't even do what, I mean, they don't even provide the correct service or services that they're, these clients, former clients are paying all this money for. I mean, and there's some kind of legal business going on here. Um, they don't even do it the right way, man. And business licenses are very expensive. Just to let everybody know they're really not. Okay, so I heard, okay, so I heard this person, um, they've already experienced huge chaos. They love making people's lives miserable, basically. They love making this person's life miserable. These, the former client's life miserable. I think people they come in contact with life miserable. I mean, and that's sad that you love, enjoy creating chaos in other people's lives. And I'm serious about that. That is, that's not correct up here. And that's just the truth. But whoever this person is, they do, unfortunately. I heard they, I've already experienced huge chaos, but soon they're about to experience really huge chaos. And I'm not going to count how many of the reallys I heard. A lot of chaos. So, 
enjoyment and pleasure, joy out of making other people's lives miserable with the chaos. At least these two people and this person. But it's already backfired. It's going to backfire soon in a huge way. I mean, like a freaking, I'm not going to count how many huges, a lot of huges. Um, so, like, what is it? Is it masochism or sadism? Um, where you enjoy making other people's lives miserable? Hold on one second. See if I can look the word up. I apologize. I don't specialize in wanting to make other people's lives miserable, so I don't know the correct definition for that. Well, I'm not getting the definition, but whatever that de definition is for um, making someone else's life miserable, the, um, it's really sad. Whatever that is, that correct definition is. They like doing it, but it's about to backfire on them, whoever this person or people is, okay? Um, it's a dark spiritual practitioner, and it sounds like they're about to get it. Somehow, the Better Business Bureau is involved in this. Somehow, um, um, uh, a request of a refund, which is a large refund, is about to occur, and somehow um, some other kind of series of chain events are about to occur, which is going to cause the chaos. They enjoyed, love making people's life chaos in the past, but it's about to come back energetically upon them, and that's the way energy works. And if they are that versed in spirituality and the laws of energetic flow, they would know that. Sounds like they're very greedy and money hungry, to be honest with you, and spiteful and malicious. All right, I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped. Namaste.